as a songwriter, a number of years ago, we started, uh, I guess it was sort of around the SOPA debates about online, the Stop Online Piracy Act. There seemed to be a real backlash against intellectual properties and songwriters' rights and copyright and stuff like that. And I realized that people were getting a lot of misinformation about essentially how copyright worked, what it protected, who it helped. And so I just felt like I had to begin to advocate for songwriters and performers, and, and, and actually individuals. People don't, people don't realize this, but, uh, but uh, I oftentimes go into a room to talk, right? And I say, I say, how many of you in the audience have copyrights? And maybe one or two people raise their hands. And then I say, how many of you have a digital camera or a, a camera on your phone? And everybody raises their hand. I go, you realize you have copyrights, right? And then this changed the whole debate. So this is what I've been trying to do, is tell people that they have copyrights and that we like to share our work, we like to share our music, we like to share our photos, but ultimately we want to ret retain control over those photos. And if somebody's gonna make money off of those photos or those songs, you should be compensated fairly. Independent artists have really no power except for the fact that they control the rights to their songs and their recordings that they've made. There's no reason for a record lump company or a distributor or a digital service or an advertising uh, agency that wants to use your song in a commercial. There's no reason for them to come and talk to you except for the fact that you retain that right. Without that right, you're irrelevant. Your music it, you will never control your music. You'll never make any money off of your music. So it's more important probably for the independent and small songwriter, which doesn't make millions of dollars at, at live concerts and stuff like that, for them to control their songs. We might write songs if we weren't compensated, but I doubt I would have made 18 albums. I would have made one or two and gone off and been a computer programmer or something like that. So ultimately, the consumer is rewarded by us being able to monetize our copyrights, our intellectual property rights. It's always fun to play in front of an audience, you know? Like, it's always fun to get on stage, and whether it's 50 people or 5,000 people, it's really a lot of fun. But I think, as far as rewards, as far as rewards and sleeping at night, you know what I mean? I think going out there and advocating for artists, for their futures, for the generations of songwriters and performers to come ultimately helps me sleep better at night. And so I think I value it more.